Hey everyone, welcome back. So let us quickly write our very first test case in Cypress and then execute it using the UI interface that we have and then also understand how you can execute the script from command line with different command options. Okay. So the first thing is the official documentation and I'm following the Cypress official documentation. So if you go further here in the E2E testing, writing your first test, right? So basically if you scroll down here, we have already seen about the creating the spec directly or the test directly from the UI. Okay. And we have executed it. We have also understood about any of the firewall issues that you might face. So I have explained that as well. But then say, for example, we want to write the test from scratch. Okay. So you will see that we have a particular format, right? So let's write our first, you know, test. Okay. Or if we scroll down, you will see that we have a particular format. So this is the first test, right? wherein we have this keyword describe and it okay so where exactly this describe and how exactly what is the format of writing the test case within cypress okay now we know that we are working with javascript so this is basically the javascript code and there is a library there is a test library or a, similar to what we have learned in selenium with java for example test ng testing framework right so for javascript as well there are javascript testing framework and assertion frameworks so let's quickly see what exactly they are so, uh, they are. so if i scroll down here you will see that where are describe and it and expect right or what exactly they are they are all functions that come from the bundled libraries okay now these bundled libraries as we know that from selenium with java combination we had to if we had to do a test framework or we have to have the testing library uh, installed then we have to have test ng dependency added by default right but uh test ng dependency added uh, manually as a dependency right so we had to basically go ahead and configure each and everything ourselves but because within cypress it is bundled as one tool so all the libraries that you see for example mocha okay so what exactly is mocha so if we go and see mocha here you will see that Mocha is a JavaScript test framework, right? Similar to what test ng is in for Java. Okay. We used to use it for Java. Similarly, Chai is the assertion library, TDD and BDD assertion library uh, for Node. Okay. So these two libraries are already baked in or bundled that comes directly within Cypress. So we don't need to basically go ahead and add any of the dependency. And that is where, so from Mocha and Chai describe and it comes and that's how we are going to use. So describe and it comes from Mocha and expect come from Chai. So these are the libraries that are used to write the holistic or sort of a complete test with assertion, right? So, and the format that is followed is basically you describe a test, right? So if you simply try to read this, you describe what your test case is, okay? So this is the description in the quotes, you write the name of your test, all right? And then, this is the arrow function in JavaScript and within the curly bracket, you describe how many tests are there. Okay. So for example, describe, you can consider it as a test suite. Okay. So within a suite of tests, within a test suite, you can have multiple scenarios to test. For example, describe login test. Okay. And then you can have it for a valid login. Uh, a it block for a valid login so one test case will we, we'll have all the steps for testing the valid login then another it block for testing the invalid login etc okay so let's quickly go ahead and copy this and start writing our first test case from scratch okay so i'll go to the visual studio code and within e2e right we have to document our test case okay so i'll simply click on this new file okay and before that let me change this look here so so I'll, you just press control K, control K and T, and this will open your theme selector. Okay. So control K and T on windows will open the theme selector or you go to the location uh, or uh, the file menu here. Okay. And then in the file, go to preferences and go to theme. Okay. And then here we can select the theme. So I'll go ahead with the dark high contrast theme. Okay. This looks better. And now let's go ahead and quickly write our test. So I'll create a new file and I'll say first test. Okay. And then it will end with dot cy dot js. Okay. Only then it will be basically recognized or it will be recognized in the 
UI, it will be picked up as a test case. Okay. So now within this particular file, we'll simply paste what we have copied and we'll start documenting our first test case. Okay. So for example, I just want to mention this is my login test scenario. Okay. So you can consider it as a scenario. Describe you're describing a scenario as a whole. And then within a scenario, you have different it blocks. Okay. So if I want to go ahead and write it all. Okay. So if I want to write it like this, so I'll simply say, you know, with the keyword describe and then I'll describe the test. Okay. Within, within the quotes. Okay. And then there will be a function. Okay. So you can, you need to write a function. All right. So you can have that function and this you can remove. Okay. And then this is basically arrow function and within the curly braces, you need to specify. Okay. You need to basically specify all the details, right? So if you, if you are specifying function keyword, you don't need to use the arrow there. Okay. If you are specifying a function or if you are not specifying, then you simply change it with the arrow function, which is a concept of JavaScript. I'll cover all of that in the JavaScript tutorial. I've already covered a lot of JavaScript tutorials as part of the API testing with Postman series, where, wherein all these concepts are all, all covered as part of the JavaScript. So if you just want to go through the, uh, through the JavaScript videos, go through those it will be really helpful from the API testing series to understand all of it. So now we have basically described the whole scenario. Okay. So for example, here I'll say, okay, this is the login scenario. Okay. For example, this is a test suite and then you'll have it block for each of the test case. Now it block is again, will accept the argument, which is basically the message or the name of the test so you can say okay test one okay which can be you know valid login all right and then post that what do you have to do you have to provide the function okay so you can either write like this function and then you define the steps within the function okay or you can skip this keyword and then follow it by the arrow and then describe the steps within this it block okay if you have the second test case just within this login scenario you say okay this is test two okay and here you can say invalid login and describe the test accordingly so this is basically how you are going to target or approach your test case okay now let's quickly go ahead and write a test case to do something right so to do on a particular scenario and for our this for this particular tutorial we'll be using this swag labs or source, source demo uh, website so let's try to launch this particular website using our first test case okay so what i'll do is i'll simply go ahead and say launch change this scenario or i'll say launch application okay and then within this this is our it block which is a test case okay and then within the it block you'll have multiple steps all right so within the it block we'll simply say okay what exactly this will do this will launch the test application okay and then there is a function with the arrow and then the curly braces within which you have to describe what exactly what operation what actions need to be taken right in order to launch the website okay we have already done this as part of the test one cy right so what we have to do we have to simply have this cy dot visit okay and the website or the portal that we want to visit okay so we'll simply go ahead and copy this line here okay let me save it and then just in the test we'll simply say cy dot visit and whatever website we want to visit so which web website we are going ahead we are going ahead with the source demo dot com okay and simply replace okay and that should be it this is kind of our first test case now in order to execute this what we'll do is we'll we have different options to execute we can uh, execute this test from the terminal okay which i'll explain as well but then also from the cypress app okay which we have already seen right so we can basically go ahead and open the terminal so we'll see uh, just file sorry view terminal okay and then from here we have understood that you can open the cypress app with the command npx cypress open which will open the cypress app okay and then whatever test cases that you have written which are of the format dot cy dot js or dot cy dot tx right um ts typescript so there are multiple formats that are applicable for the test cases those will be picked up and will be shown on the app so this is the app basically and from here we can select all the browsers or whichever browser we want to go ahead and execute this particular test so you'll see that we have already configured e2e testing 
So we'll simply select that and then it will pick all the different browsers that are available on my machine. Electron browser is based on Chromium, Chromo, uh, Chromium and it is basically, it comes uh, packaged within Cypress itself. So it's kind of a Chrome uh, version, but a bare minimum Chrome version, right? So uh, like Edge and uh, Chrome are based on Chromium and Electron comes bundled in, but both are similar family browser. Okay, and then Firefox is also installed on my machine. So it is basically detecting all the supported version. If say for example you have a uh, Firefox installed and that is not supported by the Cypress version that you are using that won't be visible here okay then you can basically go ahead select whichever active browser that you see here on which you want to run and we'll go ahead and run it on Chrome which was highlighted and then it will basically launch the area where all the specification or basically the test case that we have documented will be visible so the spec section and you will see the first test is also picked up here okay and this was the first one so if i click on this first test it will start executing and in the right hand side you will see the browser is selected chrome 115 and in the right hand side you will see the resolution so you'll see the website has been launched now you'll see that this execution is still going on because there is some application error with this particular swag lab and it's a test application so not everything would be 100 percent working on this app but then we will be utilizing username password and we'll be moving further with this app anyways right so we are not just loading the whole page as such so overall it will be all right in in future so if not then i'll pick up some other app as well to show you but overall it doesn't matter whether the app there are some application errors in the app that you are testing because it, it's a test app the key thing is that you learn how to launch how to interact with the web elements and then write the test case and the framework etc okay so now if i have to go back and execute it on a different a particular browser then i go to the specs go to the drop down here and select different browser that i want to pick and execute and it will launch the execution there now this is the ui or the execution from the app now you can also do the execution from the terminal okay which is basically from this terminal itself okay so I can go ahead and say I want to just from here. All right. I'll simply terminate and then from this terminal as well. I can go ahead and put the command to execute the test case. And what are the commands? So if you go to the Cypress documentation, go ahead and search for. Yeah. So commands and you will see that command line or how to run commands and you'll be taken to that particular page. And in order to run the Cypress command, so Cypress run is the command okay and runs it what it does it it runs cypress test by default will test all run, all by default it will run the test headlessly okay when we say headless it basically means that the browser won't be launched and the test will be run in the background okay if you want the browser to be launched then the option is to specify the browser that you want to run it on okay so for example if you want to execute the first test or all the tests within this particular folder right so we'll simply say cypress run okay but then where exactly this cypress is okay or the executor is basically in the node modules right in the node modules you have this bin and within the bin you have this cypress.cmd right so you have to basically go to that particular location right so you simply say okay node modules all right and then you say dot bin okay and then you say cypress.cmd and then run okay so if i execute this command now you will see that the execution will start okay and you will see the result being printed in the console you will see that it is listening and you'll see the browser that has been picked up by default is electron right so and it's a headless mode you'll see that headless is here highlighted as well okay so if you just don't specify any specific browser browser will be selected as electron and the mode will be headless if you want a headed mode you have to specifically mention the argument as headed and if you want a specific browser, you have to specify which particular browser you want to run your test cases. You'll see that it is executing the first test, right? And then it is running the second, right? And you'll see that it is basically took all the video here and it has put a video, particular video in this particular location. Okay, so you'll see run has finished and it has executed two test cases and all the details are being displayed here. Now, if say for example, I do not want to execute all the test cases, so I have to specify a specific, you know, command so let me clear it and then i'll have to specify which particular 
test case I want to run. So I'll simply go ahead and see the documentation here. And if you see here, uh, scroll down a little bit, Cypress run, you will see different options, right? So what all options you can provide. So I can specify which browser I want to run it, right? So I can say hyphen B or double hyphen browser and specify the browser name, for example, Chrome uh, or Firefox, etc. Okay, then we have different options for headed, right? So if I want to execute headed, so I'll say double hyphen headed, okay? And then it will start execution with launching the browser, okay? If I just want to execute one particular test case, then double hyphen spec or hyphen S, okay? So let's try some of these options. So I'll go to the command here and then I'll specify hyphen S and which specification or which spec I want to execute. So I'll simply say, okay, I'll choose one out of the available so where exactly is the spec so it is in the e2e right so in the e2e so we simply say e2e there is a root folder so cypress and an e2e right so it is basically so cypress and then e2e and i say for example i just want to execute this one so i simply say just hyphen s okay or double hyphen spec as it is mentioned here and then specify the location of the file that i want to run okay then I also want to have it headed. Okay, so I want to launch the browser as well. So what I'll do is I'll say double hyphen headed. Okay, and then I also want to execute on, on a particular browser. Okay, so I can say hyphen B or double hyphen browser. Okay, if you see the documentation, you will get it here, right? So the option double hyphen browser or hyphen B and then specify the particular browser name. Okay, so I'll say, okay, hyphen B bit short and then say Chrome, okay, and then hit. So this time it will be opening the Chrome browser, executing only this test1.cy.js in a headed mode, okay? So browser will be launched. You'll see Chrome is being launched, right? 115, whichever Chrome version you have, and then it is, it is starting the execution in the Chrome browser, okay? And you'll see the page has launched, and this error is because of the UI or the app error. It's nothing to do with the test or the cypress code that we are running okay uh, it's just the error because of the application because of this website all right so this is basically how we are going to execute our test case from the command line right so to reiterate in this particular video we have learned how you can go ahead and document a test case from scratch okay first thing understood the test case format and then how you are going to execute the test case from the cypress app and also different command line options to execute your test case okay so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching